everyone on the crypto Twitter timeline is telling you crypto gaming is dead. Crypto gaming will never make a comeback. Hustle, should I sell all of my crypto gaming portfolio? I'd rather be in meme coins and AI, and I want to put my money in a faster horse. And while some of those ideologies of a faster horse are true, the most money is made when you're investing into a narrative when it is down and when it is not being talked about. And a lot of people are simply wondering, is crypto gaming going to make a comeback this cycle? We're going to talk about some of the flaws in this video. We're also going to dive into some of the things that can happen that can stimulate the market a little bit on the gaming side and potentially give us that big next leg up that we are all waiting for for our favorite crypto gaming tokens. So without further ado, let's get in the game. And as always, guys, drop down, hit that like button, and subscribe for more every single day and every week here on In The Game. We're pushing for 100K subs. We're in the middle of 96 and 97 now. Tell a friend down below where you're getting all that crypto gaming alpha. And of course, like the video. Helps us get in front of more enthusiasts just like yourself. And a quick shout out to all of our sponsors here on In The Game. We have Vulcan Forge, Ultra, Dreams Quest. We have Game Starter, NordVPN, Moon Tropica, and Real Fever. And then shout out to also our exchange partners. We have Mexi, BitGit, Bybit, Blowfin, Avo. You can sign up for Blowfin, no KYC. You can get into Avo, decentralized exchange where you can do leverage trading as well. So shout out to all of our sponsors. Links down below in the description for all of those details. And when we're looking at the markets just quickly, um, on the 24-hour perspective, there's a couple of big wins here. One being Entangle. Uh, we introduced this one before it went to market. We've covered it as, as you know, it, its progression in the market. And a nice week, honestly, for Entangle, up 50%. They just today announced their eBridge going live to Solana. So that was a big catalyst as far as some good price action. We actually see Vulcan Forge hanging around five bucks. So all those people who bought around 260 in the bear market looking like a pretty good entry at this point in time. Uh, we have Mavia with a little bit of kick up 8%. We have Altura, one of our favorite projects here on In The Game up, you know, over the week. 18%, a nice little kick here. Um, I, I recently um, am collaborating with their Inter program. But uh, on the second note, we have actually a big hint at an announcement on the third, which is today. Um, when I put the show together, that was this morning. So on 6 3 2024, uh, there is a big announcement. Well, today is 6 3. So let's. Uh, Let's go through here. One million dollar grants to fuel innovation and creativity. There we go. So uh, that is going to be the big announcement, the Altura Web3 Gaming Grant Fund. So big news out of the gates today when it comes to Altura as far as that million dollar grant, which I believe they're going to be assisting games in development. So uh, that is a big catalyst as far as those green candles go. <clears throat> but more importantly, we're here to talk about one thing and one thing only today, and that is, are your crypto gaming bags dead? Will they make a comeback? Should you sell your bags? Should you lose conviction in all of these different projects? We're gonna go over all of that in this video. So strap in, grab your popcorn. We're gonna talk about the pros, we're gonna talk about the cons, and we're gonna give you the real answer and expose exactly what's gonna happen in the crypto gaming landscape. So first and foremost, like I said, is it dead? When's the pump? Should I sell? Gaming's not going to work in crypto, etc. So I think there's a few main flaws in the space right now. So my my watch list here is mostly gaming. Like like ninety percent of these are gaming projects. How do you choose what to invest in when your watch list? And this is not even all the coins that should be here. A hundred and eight projects on this watch list alone. Maybe 15 of them are AI memes and like Bitcoin, but otherwise they all fall into the gaming bucket. So over 90 plus crypto gaming coins on one singular watch list. Okay. That's number one. And we're going to pivot over to the games tab. And when you look at simply how many games there are in crypto, it's almost impossible to pick 
exactly which ones out of the pile are going to be the ones that are going to lead the charge and actually stick around for a long period of time. So number one is the oversaturation of the market. In 2021, a lot of new projects were coming out, but it was such a new concept that if you introduced a shooter, third-person shooter, trading card game, sports integration, big partnerships, it was like this huge thing, and you could definitely ride off the back of those catalysts. But nowadays, people don't buy into those gimmicks. We don't care who you're partnered with. We don't care about your cinematic trailer. We don't care about any of that, right? You really have to bring some heavy-hitting stuff to the table like we've seen, let's say, with Parallel, with Mavia, with Big Time, with Off the Grid coming out, Shrapnel's done some good stuff, uh, Pixels, the Ronin Chain. You really have to bring fire announcements consistently that actually have substance to the table to be able to maintain in the space. And then I think Apex, uh, underrated Twitter account here, he's, you know, he's spitting fire on this. $4 billion has been invested in crypto gaming. How many successes are there really? Like, like maybe some of their business models are profitable on the back end. Maybe, maybe more profitable than, uh, you know, and so the developers would consider that successful. But to us on the outside looking in, we don't care about that. We just want good products that, you know, are successful investments on the token front or they're fun to play. And he said, most crypto games are not unique in how they're using crypto, Compe uh, meaning you compete with every normal game out there. That is number one. One of the points I want to make is games right now are too shy to actually use the economy as something of value. What I mean is back in 2021, 2022, the economy was like, half the game but that's why you're in web3 these games right now are so shy to actually integrate token earnings nft earnings a play to earn model that incentivizes you to come through the door whereas right now like if i'm making seven dollars playing a game in in a six hour time period why should i go play that game like there's, there's other roi opportunities in the market that are going to far triumph that so that's number one. I do feel like people, the economy game in Web3 gaming is way off because people are scared that the economics are going to fail and people are going to simply leave the game because the, econ like the economics fail. But also we love speculation in crypto. So if you're something to speculate on in the economy, it's going to do well. The one example, Shining would be big time. The NFTs, you collect the NFTs, you can resell them. They actually have pretty good floor values. So like there's a good economy there to go take advantage of. Just as an, an example, being in crypto means 99% of gamers hate you from the get-go. We have easy one. Web2 gamers hate Web3 games. On top of that, it's a pain in the ass to get on Steam or app stores. It is a battle uphill. If you want to get the Apple App Store or on Steam, it's really tough, which leads to your main audience being notoriously extractive. Yes, the player bases are very extractive. And studios naturally struggle to build sustainable games. And, um, you know... We have some big stuff around the corner, but these are some of the flaws. Too many copycat games from Web2, lack of economics that incentivize players to actually jump in beyond like play to airdrop. There are too many, I would say, like hurdles for these games to go mainstream and get mass adoption. Gamers hate crypto games. And then at the end of the day, it's just simply hard to build a quality game. But like I said, when will crypto gaming pump? I actually think this summer we're going to see a big run. What are some big catalysts that play off what I just said? We need good games. We need good economies. We need good ecosystems. And we need projects that are just pushing the agenda day after day. Number one right now is definitely Ronin. Like when I look across the board at my watch list, I love Immutable. I love Beam. I love, uh, I would say, you know, Echelon Prime is like an ecosystem at this point. I love Superverse. I love Zentry. Uh, Zentry is definitely a sleeper. I think it's a really strong play if we can find it here. Uh, it should be about in this area. Yeah, I think Zentry can act like a beam this cycle. But by far, the number one crypto gaming infrastructure play, it's Ronin. And if, if you're denying it, you're delusional to use two, two Ds in a row there. 
3.3 million monthly active users. There's 19 million wallet downloads. More to come via this campaign. And then thank you to Coinbase as they are giving out $55 to every Coinbase user to educate them on the Ronin platform. So Ronin's doing everything to get in front of the masses. Like Coinbase just launched this, the rewards program today. So, you know, they've garnered 3.29 million monthly active addresses and more than 19 million uh, wallet installs. It's just absolutely insane. They are doing things the right way as far as adoption goes. And when Ronin goes open source, if Ronin kicks off another bull because of all of these things, then, you know, that's going to cause a lot of speculation because Ronin is behind Axie Infinity. Ronin is behind Pixels. So number one is the success of a major infrastructure or publisher. And I think the one closest to that right now is definitely Ronin. Number two, quality games. We need quality games in this space. And to be honest, I can only name a few, all right? Parallel, big time. I do think Mavi is great. I think Pixels is good. Um, I think Shrapnel has potential later on down the line. I think Nyan Heroes has a lot going on for it, but it's just not a hard game to build, type, so to speak. I, I do think Nyan Heroes is absolutely sick, however. But then beyond that, a lot of the games are just not there yet, right? So when you're looking at a complete product, and I just got back from Austin, consensus. I... Uh, <laughs> I had the pleasure of watching somebody play this game. Off the Grid does play tests every week at this point. Um, it was incredible. Like, it was absolutely incredible what I saw uh, take place whenever I, I, was, I was hanging out uh, with someone who had game access, and I was just watching. Like, uh, unreal graphics, unreal movement, the gunplay, just the, the animations, the environment, the everything is so freaking polished. This is going to be the one game that I think brings the masses over because despite if it's a paid campaign or not, they have Dr. Disrespect, they have clicks, they have a bunch of Web2 streamers that are going to be playing this game. It just has Twitch streamability. It has esports compatibility. It has virality to it. It has influencers in Web2 and Web3. It has a very experienced game company behind it. It has the most developed game in the entire Web3 industry in the chamber. So yeah. Number one is mass adoption from a publisher being Ronin. Number two would be a massive hit game that hits outside of crypto. That would be off the grid. This is the only shooter, you know, battle royale style game in all of crypto in Web3 that I think could legitimately become a staple game in Web2. So that's number two. And number three is economics. Where are the earth? <laughs> like, look. Gala, you know, Gala's having a lot of problems right now. But, you know, it stems from their leadership. And their leadership at one point in time said, we don't want ROI boys in our ecosystem. So if you're a ROI boy, meaning return on investment, if you expect a return on investment, you need to sell your tokens. That's not what you tell your investors. We're here for speculation. You're in crypto for Christ's sakes. Like if you want people to come through the door and actually play and speculate and dive in every single day in web three right now, there needs to be some incentivization or else they're just going to go over and trade meme coins on photon, or they're going to stack up a bunch of AI coins, right? So we see right now, actually, Mavia is going into their next phase of the ecosystem. And this is going to be massive. This is going to be massive. Mavia phase two, the next frontier is being revealed on June 14th. Get ready for Mavia token integration, Ruby wager matches, the web marketplace. So the economics of this game are finally coming to the forefront. And I think that Heroes of Mavia could maybe drive a little bit of a charge into the speculative side of this industry currently, which I mean, we are missing like crazy at this point in time. And um, I saw this tweet here putting together like a bunch of the top plays in certain ecosystems for gaming. They list Echelon Prime, Zai, Immutable, Photo Finish. You know, I love all of these. We have projects like Crypto Unicorns. I mean, this is the type of stuff. Like, there will always be people in crypto. If you're a Web3 game that want ROI, that want yield, or you could call it, you know, game gamified yield at the, at the end of the day, right? Um, crypto Unicorns is doing a lot of cool stuff with Zai, which was just mentioned over on the Arbitrum chain. 
And um, their current rates on stakers are 33% in one month or 106% over 12 months. And they're two different pools here. And they have 1.6 million in TVL. People love these types of opportunities and they will never go away. So like, I think leaning into economics, leading into yield a little bit, but not over promising and just over deliver on the product side and give your people the opportunity to come in here and ROI in the ecosystem and have fun. And they deem their time valuable because I'll tell you this and uh, it's a heart to heart. Like when I got into crypto gaming early 2021, I was streaming esports every day, six hours a day. I had no life. Like <laughs> literally, I, I would sit in my apartment. I would do my nine to five job. I would I would get off my work. I'd eat a little bit and I'd play video games competitively for six hours straight. Go to bed, repeat. Like that was it cyclically. Why was I playing esports? Why was I w wager matches tournaments to make money? to ROI on my time, right? And what crypto gaming initially provided was a way to escape the corporate greed of microtransactions and come through the door and actually earn off of the deliverables and the valuables that you get as a part of the ecosystem, whether you can monetize your talent, monetize your assets. But recently that's not been the case in Web3 gaming. And then the speculation sides down, the games that are coming out are just somewhat lackluster. The token launches are far too diluted and there's too many things coming to market. But I think between the catalysts we talked about today, you know, infrastructures get going mainstream, mainstream level games coming out, as well as the economics, like leaning into the fact that people are in crypto. You're not building a Web3 game with Web2 aspects just to raise money from us. We see through that gimmick now. People in crypto want to see these elements into the ecosystem. So to answer the questions, is crypto gaming dead? Absolutely not. When crypto gaming pump, I think gaming season will happen this summer. Between off the grid, Ronin's success, between some of the stuff going on with economies around the space like Mavia, for example, I think this summer we see a big gaming run. Should I sell all my gaming coins? Absolutely not. And even if you want to diversify a little bit, I implore you to simply at least keep your infrastructures, right? Your IMXs, Beams, Ronin, Zentries, Super, and then down the line, like the Cetifies, maybe the Mavias of the world, uh, stuff like Crown, stuff like, you know, Moon Tropica, Altura, all these lower market caps that have springboard potential, but then have your weighted, the weight of your gaming portfolio in those big infrastructures. And I promise you when that gaming pump does come around, you're going to be so happy that you stuck through, you had the conviction, because when the next catalyst comes through the door, especially if it's off the grid that does spark it, I think it's going to be massive. But at this point, it's just a waiting game. Um, and gaming will never work in crypto. I think it actually is a perfect fit, but the economic side is hard to crack, and there has been flaws so far. But personally speaking, I think we'll get through it, and I think we will um, be made whole at the end of the day. On the AI side, my favorite AI project, um, GPU, they did release a big roadmap update. I implore you to go take a look at this. Like I said, I liken this to the NVIDIA of the uh, Web3 space as far as like a lower market cap. I like render as a high one. And then I like GPU as the NVIDIA compatible type of projects in the AI space. I talked about Photon earlier. I don't, imp I, I, I don't recommend degening and everything you see, but if you've been trading on Photon for meme coins, I think you're going to be in for a big airdrop coming up. So that's a little bit of, uh, they're definitely teasing that, that you're about to get a stimulus check for the Photon token. So take a look for that. And then a big shout out for the successful token launch today. I covered this on Friday for Game On. Um, I did invest in this pre-market, so, uh, but it really goes up my alley. My two interests in life were gaming and sports. So fantasy sports, I play fantasy football every year. They're linked up with La Liga, PFL, Karate Combat. And I actually got my hands on this here, uh, which is their app demonstration. So as you can see here, like super clean, you jump in, you can play Premier League, you can play La Liga, Europa Conference, like the UEFA League. You come through here, you can see the upcoming matches, the store deals. It works up front like a Web 2 application, but it is a Web 3 application. 
Uh, and for the fantasy sports perspective, you get paid out immediately. Like it solves a lot of the problems that fantasy sports leagues and daily fantasy when it comes to fiat doesn't solve. So you can come through here. You can use Web3 elements to compete in fantasy sports and some of the biggest leagues in the world. I mean, we're talking about the UEFA, we're talking about Premier League, we're, we're talking about some of these big fighting, um, you know, type of projects and uh, I would say organizations. So definitely one I'm really excited about. And um, I haven't gotten in the app myself, but not a lot of people have. When we do, I'll come on here, I'll play it, I'll put a lineup together and show you guys exactly what is going on in this ecosystem. And then a big shout out to our sponsors on In The Game. We have Moon Tropica, which which posted this tweet. Here's what we need to save crypto gaming bags. If we have Mr. Trump come through, get elected and say, uh, crypto gaming is the future. No, I'm kidding. But uh, Moon Tropica does a great job with the culture. Like they have all the big characters in the game, Crypto God John. They have all the different memes in the game. They have a bunch of cultural people like Biden and Trump. Just a really good job of playing on the culture of memes. But this game is so much fun. Um, I'm going to have the founders on here pretty soon and, and we'll dive into it. But man, uh, Moon Tropica is one of those games. You just have fun with your friends. So shout out to Moon Tropica. And then last but not least, NordVPN. If you're not using a VPN when you're navigating crypto, it's the least you could do. It hardly costs you anything on your end. And you have a 30-day money back guaranteed. If you sign up down below, use our link. You get four months additional and a 30-day money back guarantee. Nord is the best VPN on the market. So check them out down below. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Like the video, subscribe for more. Let me know your thoughts on the crypto gaming space down below. And I will see y'all on the next one. As always, play well, my friends.